Oh man, I really hate to admit this, but this tank has been, I, I guess uh, there's no other way to say it. it has been neglected over like the past uh, couple of months, it's been like two months. I think it's been like probably a month, at least a month since I've done a water change. Um, and I hate to admit it, but I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to test. Right now I'm, I'm doing a water change. Um, it's draining through the thing that I made that goes right into my sewer. But anyways, um, so before adding any water to it, I've taken a sample. This will be a perfect time to test and see uh, if this anoxic filter zone is doing anything for nitrates. Um, this is a black water tank. There's a ton of um, like leaf litter and stuff that's just decaying in there. Um, so along with some fish waste, there should definitely be some nitrates to test for. So we'll see. I'll test it now and we'll see how well this thing works. I'll uh, add that, well, I'll cut now. Probably don't wanna watch this tube for five minutes. I, uh, I'm shocked, to be honest. Um, I don't know how well the camera will pick this up. And I am a little colorblind, but to me it looks like this isn't detecting any nitrates. Now, here, this is done draining, I should turn this off. I'm doing, I don't know, 75% water change right now. Now this doesn't mean that my fish aren't stressed. I mean, if you look at them, they, they don't have their best colors and they're acting stressed. So just having no nitrates doesn't mean that you, it doesn't mean you put an anoxic filter in here and then you ignore it and do no maintenance. But I mean, I'm shocked that there's, it's not detecting any nitrates. So, I don't know. I have a tank upstairs that I'm not running an anoxic filter like this in. And the, I always detect nitrates in that tank. Um, those fish are healthy and happy. Um, but, yeah, I would say if you have some sort of setup or scenario where you're concerned about nitrates, set one of these up. There's a... Uh, this is the anoxic zone that I put in my sump. I made this box out of lighting diffuser and then on the inside I put some hobby mesh um, and then the actual media. All it is is unscented Walmart baked kitty litter clay. Um, just the, the straight, I mean it's like $2 for 50 pounds of it or something. And then it needs an iron source. Um, I used laterite, uh, which is kind of hard to find nowadays, but I found an old aquarium shop that had a, a bag of API laterite tucked in somewhere. It's The API doesn't make it anymore. Um, they used to use it for planted tank substrate, I guess, but it needs an iron source to start the anoxic uh, bacteria colony I guess originally and then it doesn't matter so much after they're colonized on the media so I mean I don't know take it for what it is I'm not I'm putting this up here because people asked for updates on this and a few people asked for um, uh, asked me how the anoxic filter was doing and I honestly didn't know um, I'm really into fishing and the weather's gotten nice here and honestly just being real that's why this tank has kind of been neglected is i've been out fishing and doing my hobby shifted gears towards that so but i have to say wow um i'm impressed um take it for what it is 
don't neglect your tanks. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're worried about nitrates, set this up. It, it is absolutely killer. I, I'm, sh I'm still shocked. I can't believe it. There's so much junk just decomposing in here. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. So there it is. I'll just add while this is filling back up, just for some more um, information, I guess. I set this tank up uh, right around the first of the year, and it's May 25th right now. I don't even know what the date is. Um, what the hell is the date today? It's the, oh my God, it's May 20th. <laughs> Living in the future. Um, it's May 20th, right? So if you set one of these anoxic filters up, um, it takes about 60 days for the bacteria to colonize. So um, I was doing regular weekly water changes on this. I would do about mm, maybe 25% or 30% um, weekly um, up until uh, probably April. And then as soon as the weather got warm enough for fishing or for me to start getting tackle prepared and stuff like that, I sadly kind of started neglecting this tank. So this has been over a month and a half without a water change. And uh, just for some more information, this anoxic filter has been set up since January when the tank got set up. So about five months running and uh, yeah, it's obviously doing its job. So I just thought I'd throw that in there in case you are considering set, setting one up. The effect isn't immediate. Apparently it takes about 60 days for it to colonize. This is my first time ever testing it. So um, I'll continue to test it here and there uh, just to see if it stays as effective from my understanding is they never need to be cleaned. If you look here, the only thing that's building up, that's not even mulm. That's just biofilm that's um, growing on the silicone down there. There's no mulm gathering anywhere on this because of the sponge, I'm thinking. Um, there is some mulm down there. That's what I'm talking about, mulm. Um, and it's just kind of unavoidable. Um, but uh, any mulm that's kicked off of this is captured here. And I don't see really any I see some biofilm growing on it, but no real, eh, maybe a tiny bit. But aside from like dusting it off here and there, they don't really need to be cleaned. Um, so again, I'll continue testing it here and there just to see how effective it is over time. But apparently um, they stay pretty rock solid. Oh, I guess one other thing too. Um, this is the fluidized bed. Um, I changed the air stone configuration and now um, that's how it always stays in motion. Nothing gets stuck anywhere. That's been uh, rock solid also. So yeah, that's it. Again, I'm stunned by those results. So if you're keeping discus or something like that where you're concerned about it, definitely add one of these. All right. I'm out for real this time.